Okay, I thought it would be quicker to do a YouTube tutorial for those people that are wanting to know how I created my Mandalorian style helmet and I combined the earpiece and the back piece because a lot of these files uh, or some of the files that we're using for Mandalorian helmets as you can see the earpiece and the back piece may or may not already be on your helmet <coughs> excuse me so here's what I did um, in Cura this is this is what I ended up with you see how my helmet now has uh, the both left and right earpiece already combined and the back piece and what I also did is I created support blockers for this area the the inside of the top of the dome and the you know this small section of the ear because I already know that those angles are not an uh, you don't need supports for those areas so it saves on print time and filament so that's what you're going to end up with is a combined piece of uh, combined um, STL files here's what you start with you want to load your your helmet so mine is the file that I'm using is the Guardian uh, I got this off Etsy there's a free helmet that you can get off of uh, Thingiverse, but uh, this style helmet is the one that I'm going with. But anyway, so you, you want to drag your STLs into the bed of the, of the helmet, not, whoops, wait. <laughs> okay, I, I thought I messed up, but I didn't. All right. So now I have my, my left and my right ear and my back piece. I'm just going to show you how to do this one piece and you're just going to do that for the rest. So I need to move it and orientate it. Orient it, whatever. All right. So just kind of eyeball it and you're going to have to learn how to you know move around your your bed and your main item and use your x y and z axis points you're going to be switching between this one and orientate quite a bit a few times that's it uh, let's see here so let's go to the y bring it back X, bring it up. Okay, now this is what I want. I wanted to show you. This is going to keep happening. See how it drops the the model to the bed. You need to go into preferences. Oh, I'm not showing you that. Where is my? There we go. Sorry about the crude setup here. This is what I could do in in a rush. Okay, there we go. Go up to Preferences, Configure Cura, under General Viewpoint Viewport Behavior, right here. You're going to scroll down to Automatically Drop Models to the Build Plate. You need to uncheck this, and you're going to check it again later before you print, or I do. But you want this unchecked. Close it so that you can freely move your item wherever you want on the XYZ uh, axis of your of your model. Okay, so let's go back to orientating this. I'm going to bring it to where you want it. So the way I'm moving that around is I'm right clicking when I want to adjust my my view and then I use my mouse wheel to zoom in or out and I'm going to grab my axis point again it'll highlight you see how when you I don't know if you can tell but like when I hover over the red or the blue or the green it'll change color or it'll uh, illuminate a little brighter so it knows that that's the axis that you're grabbing and now I'm just moving I think I just moved the helmet no I didn't okay good So let's get it in there. 
Now the other thing I want to do with this piece is I want to bring it a little further into the helmet. I don't want it I don't want it I don't want mine sticking that far out. I want it to be a little bit just a slight uh in uh what do you call it? In uh embeveled, embossed. <laughs> Okay, and then I need to bring it up a little bit more so that it's more flush with with my uh, the bottom of my helmet right here. Now another way you can do this, like see how I'm I'm out. Uh, I can't really see my. I wanna I wanna be able to see this. I'm pretty much there. I think that's good enough, especially for this demonstration. You you do what you want, how close you want to get. But another way you can change your X Y Zs. If you can't grab your your arrows here, is go over here and manually. Sorry, readjust the camera. Go over here and manually type in where you want it to be. So that's another way you could do micro adjustments or big adjustments if you need to. Anyway, that's how you get it to want to stay here. Uh, again, you got to go into preferences and tell it not to drop automatically drop the models to the bed to the bed surface then you're going to go to edit now assuming you've put all of your p oh shoot if you make a mistake just go to edit up here and undo okay now you assuming you've got all the pieces that you want you put your ear piece where i'm going to delete these because i don't need them but you put the ear where you wanted it you put the uh, the back piece where you wanted it. Uh, then you're going to combine the models. Let me show you one more thing that you might have to do. So you see how this earpiece is in the wrong. It's it's not facing the right direction. You can go over here and mess with these orientation uh, these quick quick tabs. So you see how I just clicked on the on this one and it made it go the correct way. The watch the bottom piece how it's going to change direction. Okay? Now same thing, you can make it go up up and upside, you know, invert it or, you know, the whatever axis you need to change the orientation, you can quickly do it this way rather than having to go to this tool and do it, you know, this this way. If you really if you already know all you need is to flip it uh, 180 so that'll help. Okay, I don't need this piece. I just want to show you how to merge. So what you're going to do is let's assume you have the ear where you want both ears where you want them and the back piece where you want it. Then you're going to go back over here, edit, select all models, or you can use the hotkey control A if you're on a Windows. Now it's going to it has now selected both the helmet and the back piece and then you're going to merge them so go back over to edit and go to group or not group sorry merge models now they've all now this is one piece it's not going if you select it it's not going to individually select the back piece or the helmet now it's it's merged they're grouped or merged sorry not grouped and let's go back to preferences configure and automatically drop model to build plate and then we're going to move it back into the the bed surface and there we go see how it dropped it all the way back. it was up here I think the the mouth piece sorry I probably didn't show you how it did that anyway you get the idea you're going to bring it back if, if it if when you group your pieces together or merge your pieces together if it moves your helmet outside of the printable surface then you know just again go to preferences up here make sure you have put that back to automatically drop models and then bring your piece back into the, the printable bed area and that's it that's how I went from having all of the random pieces having to print them individually to being able to print my helmet with every single piece already attached. Then, uh, if you want to do this, if you want to save some filament and some, uh, not a lot of time is going to be saved on this, but you will definitely save a lot of filament 
by putting these support blockers into your into your project before you slice it so how you do that is you just go down here this the very bottom uh, tool and then you place wherever you want that blocker to be let's say for example you wanted to block this right here you click on it and then you resize it so now I have a blocker here and if I wanted to resize it I would just select it and then start making adjustments you can either drag out hold click and hold your axis your axis XYZ's and you can drag the drag it out or you can just manually type in the the dimensions you want okay so that's how you would create a support blocker if you haven't got into that yet anyway I hope this helps that's how I merged my files again you're gonna use edit select all select all models you're going to merge your models and you're gonna use the I'm sorry I thought it was your so edit select all models merge models and you're also going to use preferences configure cura and then uncheck uncheck automatically drop models so you can move them around and then recheck it once you've after you've grouped them, or merged them sorry all right thanks for watching again I hope this helps this was the fastest way I could explain this to you without having to type all this stuff into the uh, the message that we were sending back and forth all right if you have any questions just message me and I'll uh, try my best to explain over over messenger